preschool friends, welcome today. Today, we are going to need a few things. I'm gonna show you what they are. So would you go get the bag that you put together that has your caterpillar? Would you get your crayons? You're also gonna need this little guy that's an egg carton piece and this. Let's see, also, I want to make sure that you grab one other thing you're gonna need. It's a piece of tissue paper that looks like this. You're gonna need this today. I'm gonna share a story with you about insects. We've been talking about bugs, haven't we? Do you see this cute little ladybug on here? We got to make a ladybug on one of our little videos that we've done with you. Hopefully you got to do that. This is called, I Need a Hug. I'm alone and sad, said one red bug. What I need is a big bug hug. Two green bugs dug and dug. Red bug said, I need a hug. We are digging, go away. Please come back some other day. Three orange bugs with yellow mugs. Red bug said, I need some hugs. As you can see, we're drinking tea. Go away and let us be. Boys and girls, are you noticing the fun pictures in this book? This book was actually written and put together the pictures drawn by a first grade class. So kids who are about six or seven years old put this together, that's pretty neat. Four purple bugs with a slug. Do you like the slug? Red bug said, I need a hug. We are busy, go away. Please come back another day. Oh, look at this cute picture. Five black bugs in bed all snug. Can I have a hug? said Red Bug. We are still sleeping. Go away. Will you come back another day? What number's after five? Did you guys figure it out? Six. Six blue bugs tug and tug. Red Bug said, give me a hug. We are tugging. Can't you see? Go away and let us be. That poor Red Bug. Hmm. I hope that bug finds some people that, some bugs that want to be with it. Seven gray bugs hold a jug. Red bug said, give me a hug. This is heavy. We can't stop. If we do, the jug will drop. What number comes after seven, boys and girls? Can you remember when you're counting? Did you guess eight? Eight yellow bugs on a train. Chug, chug. Red bug still really needs a hug. We're on a ride. Go away. Come back to us another day. Nine green bugs on a plug. Said red bug, I need a hug. We plug this in to play this game. You can't play. We don't know your name. Oh no. Poor red bug. 10 pink bugs on a rug. Red bug said, could I have a hug? We're playing. Go away. This is not the place to stay. That poor red bug. I'm still alone and feeling bad. I need a pal, a friend, a hug. Without them, I'm a sad red bug. Oh. What is this? What do I see? Is this a red bug looking at me? Oh. I'm alone and I'm sad too. What I need is a friend. Do you? Let's be friends. I'll hug you if you'll hug me. Oh, that's so cute. We all need friends. We all need hugs. We're all like these little bugs. Before you, we go, we want to say, 
take time to hug your friend today. And that's the end. And here's the class of kids who wrote that story. It's pretty fun. And now Mrs. Wallace is going to share some things with us. Hi, friends. There you are. I, um, so we have been talking about butterflies. That's one of the bugs we've been talking about. And so I want you to go get your bag right now, the metamorphosis in progress, and go get the rest of that little baggie that we have, okay? Go get that and then you can pause the video and then come back and see me, okay? So when you've done that, we're going to, I wanna show you a picture of a little girl because we know that the butterfly goes through a process before it becomes a butterfly. It starts, remember, it starts out as an egg and then it um, turns into a caterpillar and a chrysalis and then the butterfly. So this is a little girl looking at her caterpillar after, after the, it was the egg, it, it um, became the, the caterpillar and it's sitting in a jar and a leaf and she's watching it. And um, a class of kids, they're, this is what the caterpillar looks like on its leaf up close. And they, these are just fun drawings to see of, of what it looks like. Um, and so then once that caterpillar has um, eaten a lot, remember the Hungry Caterpillar book I read you? And the caterpillar ate lots and lots. Look at all the kids cheering for the um the caterpillar as it's in its chrysalis. They're all very excited. It's a very fun process to wait for. And, um, and then pretty soon the, the caterpillar is, I mean, the, is ready to come out of the chrysalis and you know it's going to be something different. And here, here's the little steps. It says the chrysalis is cracking up here. And then we see the head and body and then the wings. And then it's a butterfly. And here is the last picture. This one is a drawing of a painted lady, I think, butterfly, painted lady butterfly. And that's the picture as it comes out. And then you know what that class is gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna take those butterflies out when it's nice and sunny um, out in the shade and they'll find a nice spot and they'll let those butterflies go because they need to be outside um, out with nature and and being able to go find their own food now that they've that they've got they've hatched out of there. So that's what they're going to do. So we we kind of pretended like we had our own caterpillar and put it in our metamorphosis in process. Do you remember that word metamorphosis? That's what we're that's the whole process of the caterpillar going through an egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. So we're going to take ours out. We're going to pretend like. It's coming out of its own cocoon. So we have to open up our bag and take it out. Remember, we put it in its cocoon. This was our, our chrysalis. Remember, that's, that's what we pretended was in. And then you open it back up because it's time. Now, ours isn't going to be a, a butterfly yet. We have to help it. We're going to help it along ourselves. So it comes out and it's the same, but we're pretending. We're having fun with this and we're pretending that our caterpillar is going to be a butterfly. So we need to take our little piece of tissue paper like this and we're going to crumple it up just in the middle. So just crumple it up kind of like, like that in the middle. And then you, you know how you could open these up? You pinch, you're going to pinch down here and open. See that? See how you pinch down at the bottom and then it opens up? Those are really fun. It's fun to use those to play with. If you have some more of those at home, those are really good for our fingers to, to practice pinching. Then we're gonna chomp, we're gonna eat this just like this, and we're gonna spread this out like we have wings. Look, and this is our butterfly. And you can find a great place, maybe your bedroom or some place special that you can put that on um, a shelf somewhere and remember how the process of the butterfly happens. So thanks friends for making butterflies with me. This is uh, Mrs. Holstein is going to show us one other project. Thank you, Mrs. Wallace. Boys and girls, I want you to find this sheet of paper with the butterfly on it. Can you do that for me? 
we're going to talk a little bit about the word sym symmetry or symmetrical. Those are big words, aren't they? And they're probably not words that you hear very often, but that's okay. We're going to learn what it means today. Symmetrical means that whatever is on this side of the butterfly's wings will always be the same on the other side of the wings. So see, we have this rectangle here in the middle that divides them in half. So we're going to use markers, or if you want to, you can use crayons, and you're going to color your butterfly in a way that's symmetrical. So that means if I take my purple crayon and I pinch and flip it, and I color this circle right here purple, the circle that's at the bottom of the wing. See that boys and girls, that one's purple. I have to look now on the other side and find the circle. There it is. And it also needs to be purple. That means that our butterflies will look like a real butterfly looks in nature. God made butterflies so that they're always symmetrical. Can you say that word out loud? Symmetrical. I like saying it, it's kind of fun. So then we can even use more colors because a lot of butterflies are very colorful. And we can choose another part of the butterfly. Hmm, what if I choose this spot right here? I'm actually gonna do these three spots right up here, green. See how they're green? Now I need to look across on the other side. Where are those same three shapes? Right there. There they are. Those also would be green. So I'm gonna color them. Now boys and girls, you get to use your own creativity of what colors you wanna use and what shapes you're gonna color. Just make sure that what's on this side is also on this side. The fun thing is, is if you were to fold it in half, they would be the same. So that you would know that they match when you fold them in half. So that's just part of this project. I'm gonna explain the rest of this project with you, but I'm gonna let you know that you will need an adult to help you finish it. So we had a little egg carton like this. This is gonna go right here in the middle of your butterfly. See when it goes on there, you can see how it's symmetrical on both sides where Mrs. Holstein colored it and I could color the rest too. But to get this to glue on boys and girls, is this flat or is it bumpy? It's bumpy. See how it goes like that? So it's gonna be hard to get glue or it might be a little difficult to get glue on just those little pieces and it's gonna take a lot of glue. Or maybe you could ask your adult, do we have any hot glue? Because hot glue would probably hold it on really well. And you can just glue it right there, okay? And if you want to boys and girls, you could color it green or you could paint it green if you have any of your leftover paint that we gave you. You could even draw eyes on it. Like that. Um, well, I'm sure you can't see that because it's going the other way. You could take it and draw some eyes on it. And boys and girls, if you have a little, um, what do we call this? Pipe cleaner, that's what we call this bendy soft rope. You could glue the pipe cleaner on so it still has its antenna, antenna, antenna? <laughs> Boys and girls, I'm forgetting my words. That happens a lot. So make sure you ask your adult to help you glue that on there, okay? And if you want to, you could also cut out the wings if you want some extra cutting practice, but I'm gonna leave it up to you. What we really want you to practice is coloring it symmetrical so that both sides match. Okay, so that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks for joining us and be sure to share some of your projects with us. You can either send them in a text or send them, um, post them on Facebook. We'd love to see them. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.